Good morning, y'all. I have a little comparison for you today between Werner and Crete. I spent all last year driving for Werner. I've been driving for Crete for a few months now. And here I am sitting at yet another live load, but we'll get to that. I have time for reflection and philosophizing over my current situation and state of contentedness. So I want to welcome y'all back to the joy of trucking. My name is Kevin. I'm a solo OTR driver for Crete carrier and you just hit that subscribe button and the notification bell and I will tell you what I'm thinking about today. A lot of a lot of people have asked if I'm happier now driving for Crete than I was for Werner and what the differences are. I can tell you that my goal for making this move was to make a lot of coin in the next couple of years and to that effect I think I'm lined up for some for some good income. Or driving for a higher rate, a cents per mile, and getting more miles. So I've already seen uh, an increase in my take-home pay of uh, one and a half times what I was making at Werner, and that's good. That makes me happy. I guess I'm about as happy right now as uh, any guy who is away from home for three weeks at a time and not seeing his family during that time. Uh, but that's the life. Comparing the way Werner and Crete do things is making a difference though in, in my life. The pre-planned pre loads that I get from Crete, I see them before I finish the load that I, that I am now carrying. So that gives you more time to plan your life, plan your days to come, see what's up, and think about whether or not you should even accept the load. If it's, if it's gonna involve a lot of waiting time or if you know you can't make the delivery on time, you tell them and they're they're good with it. They'll find you another load. There's plenty out there. So you don't have to feel guilty about it. You are able to work within the parameters of your comfort. That's a good thing. With Werner, there were a lot of times when I sat waiting to find out when my next load was coming, which caused a lot of stress because you can't use that time to go jogging or visiting museums or go to the grocery store or restaurant or whatever. You have to sit here and watch the in-cab device that will give you the load assignment and, because you don't want to miss it. it. It might come in five minutes, it might come in 30 seconds, or it could be three, four hours from now. You have to spend that whole time sitting here waiting and watching, which to me is, is stressful and a waste of time. And so the advantage again with getting your, your, your information for your next load before you even finish the one you're on gives you plenty of time to plan ahead and you can take a more a more relaxed attitude toward what you're doing over the next couple of days. The other thing with Werner versus Crete, I'm finding I'm spending a lot less time dealing with repairs, flat tires, breakdowns on the truck, uh, things not working right on the truck and so on. I think we've had one flat tire on a trailer, not on the truck. Uh, they just put a whole new set of drive tires on last week while I was doing some home time. Very, very few issues with the truck and they're dealt with pretty quick. Another another advantage I find is the communication is a little more clear. There, there A lot of the messages I got from Werner regarding dispatch or, or different situations that came up, I, I didn't clearly understand what it was they wanted from me and I had to send messages back and forth asking them to clarify or reading back what I thought they meant to, to get uh, confirmation. So it's uh, the, the corporate mumbo jumbo <laughs> abbreviations and anagrams and all kinds of stuff going on is, it wasn't good. It, it caused more stress and more confusion. So that's, that's a small difference, but uh, to me, communication is very important. Now on the, on the negative side of things, I'll tell you what's been happening with, with Crete here. I'm getting a lot of live loads where with Werner it was, you know, one in 10 or something where I'd have a live load or a live unload on the other end of it. I'm, I'm keeping track of this stuff and it's coming up to like 70% of my loads have either a live load or a live unload, sometimes both. And this, this creates uh, situations because the when, whenever you have a live like that, there's usually a specific appointment time. They designate when you should be there to, to get it done and they have people assigned to it or whatever. The, the, the point is if I'm, if I'm early, then I have to waste time sitting waiting for that appointment time. And I, I usually like to just go, go, go. If it's drop and hook, I'll go as fast as I can. 
drop, pick up the next load, boom, I'm gone again. I think I'm losing time with these live load appointments. I'm gonna have to talk to my my uh, manager about this and see if this is normal or if there's something that we can we can do to change this. I have to say on the other side of it, it's it's stress-free time that I'm losing. It's not like like sitting here waiting for the next load, you know, the, the load assignment or pre pre-plan where you have to sit and watch and, and wait and so on. I got I got to this place last night. I still had time left on my clock, but whatever. And I could stay here at the at the customer, so that was that was good. So I got here, I took a walk, I got some exercise, I went to the store, I got an ice cream, I had a leisurely dinner here in the truck, I went to bed, I got a full night's sleep. Oh, I got up, I was rested this morning, I got a little more exercise, and then I actually showed up an hour early at the door for my appointment, and they gladly uh, took me and, and are, are taking care of things right now. In that sense, the lost time is actually giving me stress-free time, so I'm, I'm able to like relax and take care of stuff, whereas with Werner, it was go, 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 rush, 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 if you had any waiting time, you were stressing about losing the time. If you had, if you had a, a situations where you, uh, because of the short runs, you had a lot of dock time, you had a lot of drop and hook, like two or three times a day, and you were pushing hard, you'd run out your 14 hour clock, trying to make as many miles as you can. Usually I was only getting, you know, six hours sleep every night, trying to be as productive as possible. This, uh, I'm, I'm getting more miles a week with this company and not stressing as much. And the time that I have off, although I'm I'm losing time that I could be making money, I'm I'm not stressing as much about it, you know? So that's some, that's one, one bad thing is a lot of live loads, but there's kind of a silver lining to it. And another thing I wanna mention is the trailer T1 maintenance inspections because Crete mandates that every 120 days their trailers have to go in for servicing and they rely very heavily on the drivers to get it done at a ta or a love service station so what happens is you you pick up a trailer and it hasn't been serviced in 120 days and right away you get a message saying that trailer needs a t1 and if it's loaded you're on your assignment you're you're traversing you know a great distance but all along the way you're trying to find a place where you can take that trailer in and get a DOT inspection and a basic maintenance like lubrication that sort of thing and not let it take too much time out of your productive time so if you're you put it happened to us we pulled into a loves they said oh yeah we can take you right in they took us in they did the they did the maintenance part and then they said, oh, our mechanic's out on a road call, so you can't do the DOT inspection until he gets back. Well, that turned out to be like three, four hours. And so you have to really plan. I call ahead now to uh, loves and TAs that are only about a half an hour away from me. And I will say, is your mechanic in? Do you have a long lineup? Do you, are you gonna, gonna be, you know, are you gonna keep me waiting for several hours before I can get in and get this trailer done? And so sometimes it's not possible. Sometimes it's, you know, you go all day, you make a dozen calls and you don't find a place that'll get you in and out quickly enough. And then at the end of the day, you're, you're faced with pulling into a truck stop and saying, hey, can you, can you do the thing on this trailer? And you know, you're gonna call me at like 2 a.m. and bring it in and do the work in the middle of the night and I'm off my clock trying to do my 10 hour rest. So that, that aspect is definitely a negative. Uh, Warner was always good about about servicing their trailers when you brought them into a terminal but I will say the silver lining to this one is the trailers are in pretty good shape you don't get a lot of uh, problems with the trailers because they're inspected so regularly instead of an annual inspection it's done like every four months that's pretty good another negative about Crete uh, compared to Werner is the terminals the creature comforts for the drivers at the terminals with Werner were great. You had these huge lounge areas, you had big lazy boy chairs and giant TVs, you had fitness rooms with gym equipment, you know, the showers were very clean. Uh, they had they had other amenities. I was at the at the one in Omaha at the head office. It was, it was they had pool tables, they had a kitchen, they had a barber shop, and they had a, a huge store. With Crete, 
they're very the terminals are very spartan as far as uh comforts for the drivers there are there are showers but they're not like they're not always individual shower rooms it's like a row of stalls like in a in a locker room at a high school the uh the laundry facilities are free at crete uh, at werner though you had to pay for them so that's a good thing but you don't have you don't have you know pool tables and big lazy boy chairs and stuff like that i guess they they're not really looking to looking to make the drivers at home and have them spend a lot of time hanging around the terminals the silver lining to that one is they're taking the money instead of investing it in lavish surroundings for the drivers at the terminals and putting it in the driver's pocket that's that's the way i look at it we're making more money so what if we don't have a pool table at the terminal how many times do you actually go to a terminal you know for some guys you know if you're on a regional or or it's your you know the terminals near your house you're there every week or something but for otr guys it's like once a month you might be in a terminal and, and you might not even be there long enough to enjoy the place you might be just dropping hooking taking off again you know picking up supplies or whatever so it's it's not a big deal werner did have a good education program though they had a lot of videos in a reference library that you could access from your tablet in the cab or your phone on the on the driver's app so there were there were over 800 of these things you could learn about all kinds of stuff uh, having to do with with the business and, and trucking and even personal development videos and stuff like that crete has the weekly talk from the president just giving you the you know the state of affairs with the company and that sort of thing it's it's good communication and stuff like that but not so much in the way of education. Speaking of the tablet, one thing I did notice with Werner is their their apps are very good uh, for relaying information and again education and stuff like that. But Werner has always been a, an industry leader in in the latest technology. They they were one of the first companies with the Qualcomm's and and how actually helped develop them and stuff like that. With the uh, the hours of service app with Werner, it was much easier to follow your your eight days, your last eight days, so that you could see how many hours you did each day. And if you were running on recaps, you know you could, or even if you wanted to do like a fast turnaround where you did like a, a split your split your clock for a couple of days and do you know sevens and threes and and pick up time and and trying to get ahead. The, the one with Crete, not so much. You have to sit there and kind of look through it and do the math and add up each day and that sort of thing. So at a glance, it's it's not as easy. That's a small thing, but there is room for improvement. That's all I'm saying. So all in all, to answer your questions, I am happier with Crete than I was with Warner. The money's better and for good reasons. I'm not unhappy with the truck and I'm not unhappy with, uh, with my dealings with the company as far as my manager as far as payroll and, and all that sort of thing so i'm giving it the thumbs up and we'll keep you posted on further developments so you should give me the thumbs up let's put the comments down below and hit that subscribe button and we'll see you all down the road Bye bye